Well, for Sunny Baduna, a 9.75 in floor exercise that should ostensibly move her up in the standings as we go to the beam now and Marina Vitas, who is locked in a battle for second and third place with Sunny Maduna and Jenny Bethan. And even with that mistake she made on the uneven bars, she's done so well on the other events. She's right up in there. Marina, as we said, from St. Petersburg, which will be the site of the Goodwill Games this year. Just turned 15 years old. Frank's only eighth amongst the juniors in Russia, and she will need to really stick it to get past Maduna into third place, as you see. A very difficult mount. Ran off layout step out up to the balance beam and tumbles right out of it. Very strong start. You can really see how difficult the balance beam is. She does an incredibly difficult tumbling run up to the balance beam and then on simple turns, slightly having to check her balance. It takes extreme concentration and a lot of practice over and over again. going on at the same time, including music playing. Jerry, it's amazing what you can block out when you have to. A little stutter step coming out of the layout to cover that up very nicely. We made the analogy that a golfer trying to putt has to have it quiet in Brazil before he gets up over his ball. Here's a woman on a three-inch piece of wood with audience clapping all around, music playing, and competition going on. Double back. So she needs a 995 to pass Sonny Medina. I think that would be wishful thinking. Take a look at how she began this. Truly the highlight of the whole routine here. Round off, lay out, step out, up to the balance beam. That's difficult in and of itself. Now she tumbles right out of it to a back handspring. And another lay out somersault. Excellent. Does very good work here with her layout step outs and tumbling out of them. You can see she's slightly off to the side, but she really is able to make those slight corrections. 9625, the score for Marina Vidas. Not enough to get by Sunny Maduna and the individual all around standing so far. Jenny Bethard now on the beam. Bethard was in second place. We'll try to hold that position at an excellent bars routine. She's having a fine competition as well. Showing a very nice combination of dance and acrobatic and tumbling elements. Oh, no. And that, of course, will cost you big time. Five-tenths of a point right off the top. Will likely cost her position. Give you some indication of how little room for error there is in gymnastics. At the Olympic Games in 92, Kim Zemeskel, during the all-around competition, only stepped out of bounds on the floor exercise. And that dropped her from the top three down into the teens, almost 20th place, and she worked herself back up. That's just one step out of bounds. No fall, no bobble. Big step. And just kept it together there. She was struggling here. Jenny just turned 17. Any 
given day, it could be a different champion depending on how things go. One slight bobble mean the difference. In fact, Shannon Miller won the silver medal and missed the goal by only 12 thousandths of a point. Nice finish. Good landing on the dismount. So Jenny Bether trying to hang on to her position in second place. Unlikely that she will do that. Shannon Miller's next after this. has been a very proud sponsor of gymnastics over the past year and they're now entering their second year of support. Neil Cohen, could you tell us a little bit about the involvement? Well, Hilton Hotels Corporation is privileged to be a sponsor of U.S. Gymnastics. We started last year and had a terrific event in Los Angeles uh, with uh, Belarus and Ukraine and the U.S. Gymnastics team. We're going to be doing that again in Phoenix this year. We're real excited about it. And uh, this event here today, uh, formerly the Peachtree Classic and now the Hilton Invitational, was a great opportunity for us to have work with what might be some of the budding stars of the future. So we're real excited about being here and uh, supporting the Olympic movement again. Well, I'm sure the athletes and coaches appreciate it. Thank you very much, Kathy. Shannon Miller now in her floor exercise. She has already ostensibly won this competition. And the audience is in for a treat. Shannon really hadn't even planned to perform on the floor exercise. She's been taking care of a sore back that she's had all year. It hasn't been tumbling much, and she decided on her own. She said, I'd like to do it. Just started some a couple of weeks ago. It's going to water down our floor, but give this audience some entertainment. Oops, step out. Keep in mind, you're not going to see perfect landings here. But it's another opportunity to see the reigning world champion. That. <laughs> Jenny Beth at an 8-9 on her balance beam. Sorry, Kevin. Uh, the joy of the crowd here at the Cobb Galleria Center in Atlanta. An extension of practice in this particular event for Shannon Miller. She's not too pleased, but she's a gamer. She's been working on a trampoline tumbling pass to work on her technique and to keep that going, but to also rest her back. It's a full twisting double back. And she usually does a lot more difficulty, but I think she just wanted to get out there and perform. And she knew she didn't have to be at her best, but she'd like to be at her best come American Cup. And this is a stepping stone to that. Push yourself a little bit, get through a full routine with some watered down tumbling. But also to try something new with a full twist right into a front handspring. Now what she's working on is another full twist right out of that. And her last pass. This is just what we saw before, a handspring front with a full, and we won't see this again from Shannon, because she'll add that difficulty right back in that she's so noted for. But of course, we just saw the beautiful, elegant routine we so often see from Shannon Miller. Well, nobody's going to beat Shannon Miller on this day. 9.65, the score for the world champion on floor exercise. She had a start value of 9.9, which means she couldn't have scored any more than 9.9. That one little step up, not bad, though, for somebody who has not practiced a complete floor routine in a long, long time. Back with more from Atlanta, Georgia.